Welcome to this GNS3.org presentation sponsored by ConfigureTerminal.com. My name is David Bombal, CCIE 11023. In this video I want to show you how to save and restore configurations when using GNS3. Often when creating labs you want to be able to create a snapshot of your work and return later to continue where you left off. These days GNS3 has made it very easy to save and restore configurations. In this video I'm assuming that you've got GNS3 running. If you're not sure how to get GNS3 started, please have a look at the previous videos posted on GNS3.org. In this example I'm going to give the routers IP addresses on serial 1 slash 0 and make sure that they can ping each other and then as soon as I've done that I'm going to save the configurations. So on interface serial 1 slash 0, give it an IP address of 10.1.1.1 with a relevant mask, no shut the interface, and then I'm going to save the configs. It's important that you save your configurations. On router 2, interface serial 1 slash 0, give it an IP address of 10.1.1.2, no shut the interface. I'm going to check that I can ping router 1. which I now can, and I'm going to save the configurations. So both routers configurations have been saved. Show run interface serial 1 slash 0 shows me that that IP address has been configured on the interface. The same over here. Notice the IP address is configured. So in GNS3 you can go to file Save project and let's choose a name like test saved configs 1. I'm going to put that in C temp GNS3. We're going to save NVRAMs and virtual hard drives. We're going to save the iOS startup configurations and click OK. So here under temp GNS3 test saved configs 1 you can see there is a topology configuration file which is a Dynagen network file. There are config files so there's a config file for R1 and R2. So if I double click on R1 you can see this is the configuration of R1. Notice here is the IP address on the serial interface that we configured. Same with R2. Scrolling down you can see the IP address that we configured on serial 1 slash 0. Under the workings directory you can see the boot flash has been saved, the NVRAM has been saved, a ghost image has been saved and so forth. A really nice feature now available in GNS3 is this option. File, snapshot. And I can now create a snapshot Let's call it snapshot1. Going back to our GNS3 directory, you can see now that a topology snapshot has been saved, which includes the Dynagen network file, the config files, and so forth. This is fantastic because we can create multiple snapshots for different configuration files. So I could exit GNS3 start it again and notice we have this option to open a project when GNS3 starts. So let's choose this option topology snapshot. Select the topology file, start our routers, open up a console the routers boot up But notice now when they boot up and we type the command show IP interface brief, notice that IP address is configured on serial 1 slash 0 and I could ping 10.1.1.1. .1 .1 .1. 
so our configurations have been restored. Let's say we make a change. Let's say on serial 1 slash 0, by mistake, we make a change of the following. So the IP address has now been changed and I will not be able to ping router 1. As you can see there. So to roll back our configurations, we simply go to the snapshot 1 folder and double click on the Dynagen network file. Now when we start our routers, you'll see that the configuration has been reverted back to that snapshot. So now typing the command show IP interface brief, you can see the IP address has reverted back to the IP address configured on our snapshot and I'll be able to ping router 1. Now another option that's been available in GNS3 for a long time is the following. On your routers, save your configuration. So that's router 1's configuration saved. Router 2. Once the configurations have been saved, go to this option here, Import Export Startup Configs. You can do the same thing by going to File, Import Export. Choose a directory where you want to export your configurations or select a directory to import configurations from. So in this example, let's extract to a directory. Click OK. Select the directory that you're going to export your configurations to and click OK. And notice here it says exporting configurations. The configurations of both routers have been exported. Going to that directory on my hard drive, you can see the two configurations for my two routers. Double click on one of them. And notice there's the configuration of router 1 with the IP address on the serial interface. Double click on router 2. Scrolling down, you can see the IP address on the serial interface of router 2. Going back to GNS3, import export configs, select the directory I want to import the configs from, click OK. I'm going to select my directory, click OK. And you can see that GNS3 has imported the configs of router 1 and router 2. Stop my routers. Start them again. Look at the consoles. You can see the routers are booting up. The routers have now booted. So on router to show IP interface brief. You can see that the IP address has been set to 10.1.1.2 and I can ping 10.1.1.1. So it's as simple as that. To export configs or import configs into GNS3. That concludes this gns3.org video showing you how to save and restore configurations within GNS3. I showed you how to save a configuration. I showed you how to restore a configuration. I showed you how to use snapshots, which are a very powerful feature within GNS3. You can view more free videos at gns3.org. My name is David Bombal, CCIE 11023. Thank you for watching.